was thinking of Hewlett Packard, but the, I don't I know home, I know premium, I know home premium or whatever, and then pro, I don't know what HP is. I, I've been doing, uh, I've messed with Windows 7 some, but I've been doing Linux since 2005, so I don't, I don't do Windows much. And if I, unless I really, I like, I would, I, I usually try to keep a Windows machine around for those, so a few things I might want to do that needs Windows program, there's not a, you know, open source application, Linux application available for it. Not too often I want to do that, but the, just when you need it, you know, you need it. So, and I don't have one. I got tired of it because I had three of them. I had a couple of laptops and a, or a laptop and two hard uh, desktops and they, somehow I got a network virus and they all got infected. And I just reformatted every one of them with Linux and years ago. And I have one Windows uh, XP virtual machine that I made years ago. And if I... If it'll run on that, I'll use it for that, you know, some kind of things like that. I'm trying to see if I could figure out how I might jump, you know, bypass the switch, jump it. But, uh, you know, I'm not really seeing on that circuit board how I might do that. I could take it out of there pretty easy, but you really don't need to to jump it. All Everything is reachable. Let's see if there's any voltage on anything. Because you, if you, if I get a hot and negative together by accident, I will very easily. Um, yeah, I'm trying to figure out where to put it so I could see it. Uh, short, you know, it's it's would well, still short it out just as if you had just stuck a wire across it, and and you'd be damaging your, your multimeter. I mean, it has a fuse in it, but. It, Still might blow it up. Let's see. Uh, the thing is, it's not too much of this is going to go. The only thing that would go positive to negative is the lights, which I already. That one there, that's positive. Let me see if that. Well, it doesn't have it. It's not. It's not. Well. Oh, if I can mash the button at the same time. Yeah, if I can mash that button and hold all this. To test the switch, if I, if it was a simple switch with a in and an out, you know, instead of having th three, four, five connectors, I could do it pretty quick and easy, but I can't do this. So, well, I'm going to have to just try and... Oh, I do have a thing I can put on. If I have to, I will. I have a jeweler's headset somewhere over there. One of them says positive and the other one says say nothing, so I'm thinking that... And that's an LED, so it's going to have to have a positive and a negative work. So me getting an impedance might have been telling me there was a problem there. Me, me getting a circuit across there. Uh, usually with the light, you'd expect it to give an open circuit, though, it, but it was beeping. I'm, you probably, uh, if you know all this stuff, then you know I don't. I'm a novice at doing this. I know the old-fashioned ways before digital multimeters were made. It doesn't do anything. Just try to so if the you know if the light was bad uh, and I was mashing the button, of course the machine should come on if the light was bad. This one, yeah, that's the hard drive light. It's not going to do nothing. Okay, so let's see if we can get any voltages. Now let's turn this off and go get. Where is that thing? There it is. Uh, drink first. Okay. As per usual, this kind of thing always takes way longer. Now I've only got one bar, so I'm going to lose my my video here a little bit. I have another battery, but I'll wait till it 
gets all the way down. I think it, I don't know if it blinks or anything. It doesn't make any noise when it's running low. I know that. But, um, yeah, this is what I have to use to trim my toenails with. Well, let's just try using it. Oh, yeah, you don't use glasses with this. It's your glasses. Okay, or I don't. Uh, okay. If this will do it, then I'll be alright. Yeah, I think maybe I can. Yeah, I actually need to be further away, like more like normal with this on. That's cool. Okay, so. Yeah, I can see the one that looks like ground. So if we're getting power in there. Not getting any voltage there. Getting negative there. Well, that's millivolts though. Be careful. Negative. Which there is negative voltage. Uh, could even be switching on negative. But it's millivolts. It's not any readable voltage. Just hunting in the millivolt range. Huh. The one that I think is ground. Now let's just try using... Well, I'll just use the body of the switch as my ground this time. Probably is ground. Loads. Loads. It's making me wonder about the... Uh, Now I'm going to try one of these screws. Okay. Well, why don't I try the one that should be ground over here going to the LED, I guess. Yeah. yeah. I think... I'm just trying all options. Ah, there we go. Okay. The uh, one, I can't see what color it is, but that's 5 volts. So white one next to the yellow one. Still, yellow one's nothing. That's just hunting. That was the gr ground anyway, is what it really should be. That's nothing. Three. No, it's hunting. Thought I was fixed, getting some voltage there. Okay, so there's one with five volts on it. Yeah. Yeah. I see, now that I have this on, I see something that looks like maybe something was melted a little bit on one of these pins of this switch. It may have burned up. I think I might actually... There we go, five volts. So that must be a, a ground... Pin and it's it's grounded. Got five volts there, and, then, and that's five volts. Okay, and that is hunting. So those two there may be the actual switch. I have a, I think I have a test light in here. I don't want to. I since I'm not so. Uh, like I said, not so knowledgeable, actually, as uh, of these multimeters and what happens when you're... If I was doing what I was trying to do, use it as a... to finish a connection on a circuit. I might be risking my multimeter doing that with it. I don't think so, but since I don't know for sure, I think I'll err on the side of caution this time. After I did it the first time, I thought, was that really a good idea? I think I have, if I can see to get it, a test light in here. Yeah, there it is. Yeah. That will go off, light up, uh, when you have uh, 
well, you could go positive to negative, it'll light up, or you can just use it to complete a circuit. And I got some jumper wires there, but they're too big for that stuff there. But now I know if this is going to, if there's enough room for me to get that in there without grinding it out on something. Yeah, that'll work. Nope, that's not what it needed. But, see, that was a ground. Which one was the one? Oh, that one there. It's not, five volts not enough to light it up. I thought five volts would light it up. I wonder if, uh, huh. I was hoping that it would light it up and start it up. Well, I think the only thing I want to be able to do then is go ahead and take the switch out of there. Really, with the, even if it's bad with it in there, you should be able to. Yeah. Let's slip down the extra. <sighs> Didn't help. Well, let's let's check the. Uh, it's still working. Okay, the video. Uh, I got the. Uh, once I get that, there's two windows. Two. Uh, there's an. You know, more map. Some magnification, and then more, and then there's that jeweler's. That's the part that makes it for jewelry and watches and stuff. That, that one, that's what they got. You usually got to look through to do that. Yeah. Something definitely looks... I didn't see that when I was just looking at it with that other magnifying glass. Let's, let's try it with the magnifying glass. And give me some more light. I was thinking that might might be a spot where something had melted. Maybe it was a component on the other side of the board that overheated and blew out or something. I guess I should take the board out and see. Try to hurry up and do that while we still have video. I may have to change. It might ought to go ahead and... Yeah, it's gone. Okay. It's going to quit, so I'm going to stop it. And I'll put in another battery.